First of all, I just want to give a shout out to a really awesome campaign that is coming up here in San Diego, and the Congregational Church of La Jolla is proud to be a community ambassador for the Light Our Way 2021 campaign. This is a collaboration between Advocates for Change Today, Say San Diego, as well as the Office of Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. The Light Our Way 2021 campaign unfolds against a civic landscape as we emerge from the darkness of an 18-month global pandemic into the light of brighter days ahead. The Light Our Way 2021 campaign celebrates and lifts up all of the graduates in the class of 2021 who are graduating and who have completed their final year of school in the midst of a very, very difficult time. And so we as one voice and as one community are here to lift up and to congratulate all of those young people from this community who are graduating and who have confronted so many challenges this past year. The color green is the official color of the Light Our Way campaign. And community ambassadors, including our church, as well as many different entities throughout San Diego, are encouraged to paint the town green. You will see buildings downtown lit up green over the course of this two-week campaign. People will be wearing green, and there will be a lot of exciting ways to acknowledge the accomplishments of the class of 2021. So I just wanted to let everyone know about this wonderful program that is taking place and the the theme of of uh the kickoff for this program is gratitude joy and hope and so uh i want to um encourage you to reach out to myself or to Molly Bowman Styles, a friend of the Congregational Church of La Jolla, as well as our publicist, uh, if you have any questions about the Light Our Way 2021 campaign. This week's psalm is Psalm 104, verses 24 through 34, including 35b. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice In the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Here ends the reading. As I mentioned in last week's video, we're going to be taking a step into the book of Psalms. We're going to explore what the Psalms said to those who heard them for the first time what the Psalms have said to us over the years, and what the Psalms are saying to us in our contemporary day today. 
For a congregation like ours that appreciates music so deeply, the Psalms are a perfect fit. They're musical, they're meditative, and they offer us a chance to take a breath. And in my opinion, taking a breath is something that the world desperately needs right now. Last week, we took a look at the first Psalm. We took a look at the way the law was laid down before us at the very beginning of the book of Psalms. The psalmist was telling us that there are virtually two paths. There's the path of righteousness and justice and the path of darkness. In Psalm 104, we again confront such large macro visions. In this case, we look at all of creation There's very Genesis 1 themes and tones going on here. We take a moment to consider the entirety of God's creation. We take a look at the earth and we go down into the seas to appreciate the diversity of creatures, both big and small. Psalm 104 is actually quite lengthy, and we didn't hear the entire thing today. But the beginning of the psalm even delves further into creation. Speaking of the moon and the seasons, the sun, the darkness, and the light. But what is interesting about the psalm is that its focus is on the interdependence of all life. Back earlier in the psalm, it talks about how humans work the land so that the grass might grow for the cattle and the plants for the people to cultivate, which brings forth food from the earth. The earth produces wine that gladdens human hearts and oil to make faces shine and bread to sustain humans' hearts. Later on in the section of the psalm that we heard from, we hear all creatures look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. The main theme of this psalm is interdependence. This is a very environmental psalm. This is a very peaceful psalm. In fact, there's a rhythm to it. And if put to music, we would see this rhythm ever the more clearly. But the rhythm is that we are interdependent upon this earth and we are interdependent upon each other. That all life forms look to each other to be in symbiotic balance with one another. There's a mutuality to it. That the humans work the earth in order to feed their livestock, which then produce food and produce more nutrition for humanity. And the earth yields fruits, which then improve the quality of human life. And we give back to the earth what the earth gives to us. This is a very forward-thinking psalm for something that is ancient. This is something that speaks into our contemporary reality today just as much, if not more, than it did in its original time. As we go forward over the coming weeks, we are going to see that there is such great diversity in the Psalms, that the Psalms are rich with material for intellectual analysis, but at the same time, they can be read simply. They can be read without context and still derive us a sense of calm and peacefulness. The Psalms are perfect for when we are ill, when we are visiting one who is sick, when we are looking for something that brings both familiarity and comfort. And so I wanted to focus on taking a look at some of the most important Psalms in the Bible as we continue to heal from what has been a very difficult year and a half And as we begin to take steps out of it, and we begin to take steps into a more regular life where things are changing and new fruits are popping forth into our world and into our lives, and yet we realize more than ever 
that we are in interdependent relationship with each other. That we are all connected in ways that we never before imagined. That our health is connected to each other's health in ways that we didn't imagine. That our lives are impacted by those who we do not know and who we will never meet. People on other continents and in other cultures. We are all bound up together on this one earth, interdependent together, singing a song of praise and glory to our Lord, who provides us with more than we could ever ask or imagine. I look forward to continuing to walk with you through the Psalms as we approach these next few weeks. May it be so. Amen.